just when you thought you'd seen enough. Well, Linda uh, went to see quite a few people. We had um, a list of almost 30 people to see. Sad to say, one of them died and was buried the day before we landed, so I never got to meet Daisy. And there were some that I had met before, and I was so happy to see them, though some were now in bed when I went to see them and not doing as well. The most fantastic story I have to tell you and the most the most spiritual story I have to tell you is about how we went to visit a woman who's called Tiny in her small home. And we went to visit her, just three of us, and she was in her bed. And I went in to see if she was able to have company with the woman that's taking care of her, Selena. And the money that her sponsor gives, the sponsor family gives money, and it provides for her to have care. So she was grateful to have somebody to, to come in and help her with her needs because she's hard of hearing, she can't see well, she has diabetes and arthritis. So Selena comes in and helps her. So her sponsor is the man that got this work team all organized and He's been to Dominica a few times. Not as many as I have. But he's let his um, three of his children come. So who wins? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it was nice going to visit her and saying a prayer with her as we left. But Rick had an other I another idea that um, we should go and serenade Tiny. We had learned a song, we sing it in church, but we had really learned a song to sing in the Wesley Church. So we went in, I went in, they were outside, and Tiny sat up with a little help and there I was, while a neighbor Pearl was singing with Tiny, and Tiny was singing, Here I Am, Lord. Now she wavered, and her eyes were closed, but you could see her singing. She knew the words. And then, when they were done with that singing, Rick called in, How's, how's it going, Linda? And I said, she's fine. And they sang, they'll know we are Christians. And there was Tiny singing right along with them. It was such a spiritual experience for me. It's hard to describe. It was just so amazing. I've known Tiny for over 10 years. This may be the last time I see Tiny. And there I was, so captivated by the spiritual strength of this woman. That's why I go to Dominica. That's why I go to a country that's in need of many things, but 
gives back to me a strength, shows me a spiritual strength that all the riches I can see here in this apartment compared to the tiny home that Tiny lives in on a street in Wesley, Dominica. More to come. More to come. Bye-bye, YouTube family. Many blessings to you. I hope you have spiritual experiences that can match.